have a hair on my nose. Chester, here is my very angled swatch. I'm not picking my nose on camera. Hey guys, welcome back. So I got Friday favorites and foodies for you today, and I would say overall this week, I found myself grabbing for like mauve burgundy, even kind of like brownie mauve sort of shades, particularly blush and lips this week. And I was also feeling a little bit low maintenance with my eye looks. So I was doing a lot of like one shadow looks and just basically smoky eyes, easy smoky eyes. So that's pretty much what I did with my eyes this week and then just kind of switched up mainly my lip options. So I was wearing very similar looks to what I'm wearing right now pretty much all week. So that's what we got to talk about. So let's get to it. So one thing that I grabbed for multiple days this week was this little L'Oreal palette. This is the Color Riche Pocket Palette and this is in 106 Boudoir Charm. So I just got this recently and this is a great palette for one shadow looks because really, if you just have your bronzer or some kind of like a matte eyeshadow color just for your crease, you can really do like basically three different one shadow looks and I pretty much did that. I mean, today I've got on like the brownie, like a darker brown sort of color. And then I do have a little bit of the next thing I'm about to talk to you about. But these are really, really nice. I'm telling you, I picked the one bad one from the group, I think. I, I mean, I haven't tried all of them, but I've now tried um, this one, Haute Hazel, and then French Biscuit. And those are all great, but the blue one is horrible. So don't get that one. <laughs> get one of these. So this one is beautiful. I mean, these blend well, they're pigmented, they wear well throughout the day. So, so pretty. And see, like, all of those are just, that equals an easy eye look right there. That right there, little bit of bronzer. I say bronzer just because I find that easy. Like, I just pull that out and that's what I use for my bronzer and also in my eye look. So I use Chocolate Soleil Bronzer from Too Faced all the time in my crease. So that's what I'm wearing today. So that right there plus a little bit of bronzer and that is an easy eye look and somebody's texting me, where's my phone? <laughs> I also wore this little shadow several times this week and actually have just a little bit of this kind of on the inner part of my eyelid, not on the inner corners, that's my highlight, but I have a little bit of this just kind of inner fourth of my eyelid and it's basically just a lighter taupe than that kind of like taupey brown that I have all over my lid. So anyway, blah, 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 blah. This is Beauty Basics, B E A. U-T-E Basics, and this is in the color Satin Taupe. I got this in my Ipsy bag, so I assume that you can still get this somehow, but this is a really nice shadow. Like, this is beautiful, and the texture of this is really, really nice. It feels very, um, I don't even know how to describe it, very buttery and almost like thick in texture where it has just a lot of pigment packed in there. Really, really nice. I mean, it is beautiful and metallic and this is great by itself. So I wore those others as one shadow looks. I wore this one day, maybe even two days as a one shadow look and then I got it today with the other one. It's just awesome. So, so nice. But really, I mean, just a one shadow taupey kind of a look, like a bronzy taupey look is one of my go-to fast makeup looks. So you could use um, L'Oreal's Infallible Eyeshadow in Bronze Taupe for that, so that's a great option. A MAC shadow, a Makeup Geek shadow, whatever. But this is a really, really good one. And I like the tone of it, that it's kind of like, it's a taupe, but it almost had, seems to have a little bit of like a, a purpley tint to it, just barely. So pretty. For blush this week, I pretty much wore this almost every single day. I think every day except for maybe one day, maybe two days. But this is Max Sheer Tone Blush in Breath of Plum. This is so pretty. I have this on today, but I do have a highlight on that I'm gonna have to tell you about because it's amazing. I've been loving highlights lately. I just feel like there are so many beautiful highlights out right now. I'm just all about the highlights. So. I'm gonna have to share this one with you because it's so good. 
But we're talking about the blush right now, so back to the blush. This is Breath of Plum, and it's gorgeous. I love it. It's like a, like a pinky mauve sort of a color. And it's got like a purpliness to it. It's really, really beautiful. I will say about these blushes specifically, I think it's the Sheer Tone blushes, I find them to be a little bit more work to blend. So what I do is get very little on my brush and just barely tap, tap the back of my hand and then start to kind of like buff it on like this. And I find that that kind of helps with the application. I just find that these stick a little bit more. You'll have to let me know if that's your experience with them. I don't really remember that happening with other MAC blushes, but I noticed it a little bit with this one this week. So that's just a little side note. So you may want to kind of like build up the color slowly to help you with the blending. But I love the color. It's definitely one of like my favorites from MAC. It's beautiful for this time of year. It's just that kind of sweet, girly, mauve -y. So I feel like mauves are like I don't know, they're fall, but they're also a little bit girly and they're just fun. This one's a fun one. This highlight, oh my goodness, this is so gorgeous. This is one of the new Makeup Geek highlighters. This is in Daybreak. Now, if you look at it in the pan, it looks very orangey, like very peachy orange, but when you wear it and swatch it, it's just like, angels singing amazing because it's it is peachy but it's way lighter so it swatches a lot lighter than it looks so let me show you next to the pan see, see how much lighter that looks so don't be scared by the pan like if you see the pan or if you order it and you go holy moly that's not what i thought i was getting <laughs> don't be afraid of it because it doesn't look the same in a swatch as it does in the pan this is absolutely gorgeous. It's like a champagne, but with a strong peachy tone to it. It's absolutely incredible, so beautiful. I think this one was recommended for um, medium skin tones maybe? Okay, my camera just cut me off, rude. But I think I was saying that, I think that this was recommended for medium skin tones. Um, and I think it would definitely work for medium skin tones, but I'm more, kind of fair, I don't know if I call myself porcelain, but I'm more on the fair side and it definitely works for me too. So this is just, I mean, I don't even know what else to say about it other than just look at it, watch that highlight, watch that like glisten and gleam. It's just amazing. It's so beautiful. It's gorgeous in the pan, but like I said, way darker looking in the pan than it actually ends up being on your face but it's just amazing. Okay, on to lips. So I mentioned last week that I've been loving the color blurs, so I pulled this one out this week and loved it as well. This is the Maybelline Color Blur in Plum Please. And I believe that this is the darkest one that they have, the darkest shade, and it's amazing. This is like a dark kind of plummy. Oh my goodness, this is so pretty. It's like a dark plummy sort of a color. Oh, it's pigmented. It wears really well. It, I like that it's just, well, one thing I really do like about it. I like that the container really matches the color. Because there's another one that I went to wear. Um, I have a hair on my nose. Chester? <laughs> Not in my nose, let me clarify. On the outside of my nose. <laughs> Not picking my nose on camera. Anyway, there was another color that I went to wear that was like a I thought it was gonna be more of a berry, but it ended up being a pretty bright pink. Like, not like pretty bright, it was pretty and bright, but it was like, whoa, that's a pretty bright pink. This one really ends up looking like it does in the container. So that one I felt like, in the container it looked like it was gonna be, the outside looked like it was gonna be more of a berry, but it was really more of like a bright fuchsia. So anyway, I like that the outside container matches it, and it's a really pretty color. Love it so much, gorgeous. I'm just really, really, enjoying the color blurs right now. And I love this combo right here. This is a new purchase for me too. I just got this recently. It was part of a little trio set. I don't know what the trio set is called, but I will find it and link it down below for you. Both Mallory and Ashley talked about this set. First, Mallory talked about it on her Snapchat, so I ordered it, and then Ashley mentioned it, I think, in her Friday Favorites just recently. So they love it too, and so we're all three obsessed with it because 
this is a beautiful set, but these are the ones that I wore this week. I didn't wear, comes with a liner and two of these. I wore this one this week, not the other one. So this is the Huda Beauty Lip Contour Liner, basically. This is in Trophy Wife. So the other color I didn't wear this week um, in the liquid lipstick is called Trophy Wife. The one that I wore this week is called Muse. And it's just like an amazing, oh my goodness, like taupey mauve. Ooh, and this smells amazing. Oh my gosh, it smells just like the La Vanilla, um, just the regular vanilla. Not like the coconut, I don't think. I don't think it's the coconut. I think it's just the pure vanilla one. The like rollerball, I have a rollerball from La Vanilla. It smells just like this. Basically like vanilla extract, which is amazing. So it smells incredible. So there is Trophy Wife, that's the liner that I wore. And then there is Muse. So pretty. Really, really liked the formula on this. I've never tried one of these before from Huda Beauty, the liquid mattes, but I really, really liked this. Um, I found it to be comfortable. It didn't do the weird line thing. It just wore really well for being a liquid lipstick. Now it wasn't like, um, wasn't quite like the Gen Nudes from Bare Minerals or the Ofra ones, but it was pretty close to the Ofra ones. I feel like just a little bit more traditional liquid lipsticks than the Ofra ones, but because the Ofra ones transfer a little bit more, but they're a little bit more comfortable, but they're pretty close. So I really, really liked this formula and just the amazing color and the incredible smell. And I have just been all about Ofra lately. I feel like they've just been killing it with their new releases and I'm loving this collection. So pretty much every week I just like go on to the next one and wear that one and love it too. So this is part of the Vintage Vineyards collection. This is in Tuscany. So that's what I have on right now. While I'm swatching this, did y'all see their holiday set? It is so good. Like you get, how many different products? One, two, three, four, five, six products, I think for like $42. And then you can also use a code on top of it. So that makes it like, $30, less than $30, amazing set. So, and that highlight in there is gorgeous. And the liquid lipsticks are gorgeous. So anyway, that's a little side note. That's a really good thing that they've come out with recently too. But here is Tuscany. Here is my very angled swatch <laughs> of Tuscany. I don't know why that happened, but there it is. It's just a beautiful, beautiful, it's a beautiful, Beautiful color. No, it's not beautiful color. It's a beautiful color. It's like a brownie, brownie kind of a color with a little bit of a mauve tone to it. It's kind of more on the brown side, but it has a little bit of a mauve tone as well. Just gorgeous. Love it. I don't know which way to turn my hand, but you can see it there. It's a beautiful color. Love the formula on it. These smell amazing too. These smell more, mmm. They're like vanilla too, but they're more, they're less like, oh, did I get on me? <laughs> they're less like vanilla extract. Well, they are like vanilla extract. They don't smell exactly like the Huda Beauty ones, but they both smell amazing and a lot like vanilla extract. This is maybe a little bit more cakey and vanilla extract but it's really, really good. Love the scent on this one too. All right guys, so those are all my favorites for this week. So I hope that you really enjoyed this video. Please hit a thumbs up if you did. And let me know down below what you were loving this week or maybe not so much loving. Let me know your weekend plans or any questions that you have. I'm happy to answer those. Please subscribe to my channel if you're not already and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.